3 in the afternoon, I think. And I'm so hungry and I'm trying to write an essay. And I told myself I wasn't going to have a snack until I wrote it. Well, that's not happening. Um, so I'm going to make myself a little nice cream banana ice cream chocolate smoothie bowl vibes to satisfy my sweet cravings and also just for healthy and nutritious snacks so let me show you guys how i like to make that so first i'll start off with a frozen banana and i usually just like to have them already in the freezer and I just think freezing them gives it so much of a better consistency and like more ice cream consistency. So that is what we are doing. So then I'm going to add two tablespoons of cocoa powder. I like mine to be extra chocolatey so that's why I do that. You don't have to but I'm going to add this pumpkin seed protein powder just a little scoop because I'm feeling extra hungry right now so just a little bit of that then I'm gonna add about a quarter cup of coconut yogurt I like the Maison Riviera kind but you can use whatever kind you like then I'm just gonna add a little bit of water And I like mine to be like super thick, so I just add the water as I go. So as you can see, um, it did not want to blend. So I'm going to add more water. And I might also add some crushed ice just because, again, I do like a thicker consistency. So I did end up adding some ice, which just makes it a lot more smooth and like more like ice cream than runny. So I definitely recommend doing that. You could also just make this and drink it as a smoothie or definitely also like add some instant coffee if i need a little pick me up during the day i like to add some instant coffee to mine as well so here is the finished product a little bit runny but this is how i like it and then i'm just gonna put some toppings on top i just added some chia seeds my sugar-free granola and some vector cereal on top because i really like every bite to be crunchy okay so it's a different day now and it's my pre-period week and i'm craving brownies my roomies all know um and they're all on the same page as me brownies is the go-to pre-period week dessert um like we always have black bean brownies pretty much in our house every single week because on our pre-period week every person makes them so that's what i want to make today but i'm going to try and make sweet potato brownies with like less refined sugar and lower carbs so i don't have like big sweet potatoes like these ones are pretty small so what i'm gonna do is just oh they look kind of bad but <laughs> i'm gonna just pierce them and then put them in the microwave for like two to five minutes until the inside is cooked i did not mean to cut this one in half but i basically just put little cuts in them um, all around and then i'm just gonna microwave them I will let you know how long I put them in for until they're cooked nicely. I ended up putting them in the microwave for six minutes and you can see, it's kind of hard to do this with one hand, but you can completely cut through them and they're completely cooked. So I would say either do two small sweet potatoes or one large one. So I'm just going to scoop all of this out and then put it into the food processor. So now we have our two small sweet potatoes in there and then I'm just going to crack two eggs into the mixture as well. Next we're just going to have to add in a teaspoon and a half of vanilla extract. Then we are just going to blend this up so it has a nice smooth consistency. Next we are going to add a third of a cup of cocoa powder. So just make sure that it is leveled off nicely. Honestly I do all my um, measurements roughly anyway so doesn't matter too much. Then we are also going to add in a half a cup 
of coconut sugar. You could also substitute in for any kind of sugar. If you have brown sugar or regular sugar, you can use that as well. And you just want to give that another blend. So I added in three tablespoons of flour and then I'm just going to add in a sprinkle of salt because salt actually helps to activate all the flavors and give it that nice chocolatey flavor that you want. And then I am also going to add in um, a half a teaspoon of baking powder. Here is the finished product. It was in the oven at 350 for 15 minutes and fun fact if you want a little baking trick to see if something's done you can use a um what is this called oh my god a toothpick or a piece of spaghetti or something and if you put it in and it comes off fairly clean like that then you know that it is done so i'm gonna let them cool and then i will cut them up okay so i'm gonna taste it now It's super like fudgy and moist and cakey. Definitely on the less sweet side. So if you want it to be more sweet, I would say to add more sugar. But if you're trying to decrease your sugar and your refined or your refined sugar and refined carb intake, these are super good. They would be so good on like some kind of vanilla ice cream. I am impressed with myself, honestly. Okay, so another easy dessert treat snack I usually have this one as a snack you can do is dates and dates are super sweet and obviously natural sugar like the dried version of dates they look like like this and I love to put any kind of nut butter on it and I'll show you how a few ways that you can make that extra tasty and more like a dessert instead of just nut butter and dried fruit so here we have some dates some um unsweetened shredded coconut i like to use sun butter right now because um peanut butter is inflammatory for my skin so i'm using sun butter but you can use any kind of nut butter that you like and then any kind of chocolate that you want to melt this is just what we have in my house so that is what i'm going to be using so you want to start by just slicing all of the dates in half like this so then you can open them and put a little topping on top so now as you can see all of my dates are cut in half and i just want to be clear i am making extra normally i will only have like four to five of these at a time but i'm making extra so i can have them for the rest of the week and put them in the freezer so after you cut them all in half like this you are going to fill all of them or just put some of whatever your nut butter of choice is on each and every half of the dates okay so once you have your nut butter on all of them what you are going to do is just take your coconut and just sprinkle it over so there we go the coconut is all sprinkled so you can eat them perfectly they're so good just like this but like i said i'm going to put the chocolate on top now okay so i have about 10 dates here so i used a little bit less than a quarter cup chocolate chips and then melted them for 30 seconds stirred them and then melted them another 30 seconds and then i mixed in a teaspoon of corn oil just to make it a little bit more runny and easier to spread so now i'm just going to drizzle this over the dates so i just drizzled the chocolate on them and i'm about to throw them in the fridge to cool and then you can enjoy okay so here's the finished product they literally look the same except the chocolate is just dry so i'm gonna enjoy some right now actually but I'm super excited about these and just to have them as a snack for the rest of the week. Okay, here we go. Taste test. That's so good. It literally tastes like a chocolate bar. I'm about to eat many more of these so enjoy <laughs> 
thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, don't forget, a new video every Thursday at 7 p.m. EST. Um, so look forward to that next week. But thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day.